I'm gonna aim my cue ball with about two tips of running English. And that should go right to the corner. And I'll take it. Hey, I am here with Jennifer Beretta at Skyline Billiards. Jennifer, thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you for coming. Of course. Um, I really want to show you this two rail system. It's a great system. I use it all the time. Super accurate. It's called the plus system because all it involves is adding two numbers together. And I figured out a way that you can keep it at whole numbers where you don't have to like do anything complex. So I, I just wanted to show you that. Because I know you're on a quest better. to be the best player in the world. In, of all time. Of yeah. all time, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I'm really, I'm way behind. <laughs> okay, I gotta pick well, it up. Let's make up for some lost time. All right, maybe. great. So the idea of any kicking system is that these diamonds have a meaning. They're not just there for show. Um, in this case, they're numbers. So um, on this long rail, you're gonna start here. This will be zero. Okay. This will be 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay. It starts to break down uh, the further over you get, the more extreme it gets. The key is on this one, your numbers are gonna be doubled. Okay. So this starts at 10, where that one started at zero. This is 10? 10 is the okay. pocket. I'm so if you have convinced. to go into 10, you're gonna have to mess A or something. Okay. Um, but don't worry about that. 10, 20 is gonna be halfway in between. Okay. 30 is gonna be right here. 40 is gonna be halfway in between. 50 is gonna be here. 60 is gonna be here. Starts to break down really at 60, 70. Sometimes it works. You might have to use some different English. We're not gonna go into that today. I'm gonna to keep it as simple as possible. Getting to the corner is super duper accurate with this system. Um, so do you remember what number the corner is lying on? Well, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. It's lying on 80. Okay. So now, Say your cue ball's anywhere, it doesn't matter. We need to find two numbers that add up to 80. Okay. So give me two numbers that add up to 80 and don't uh, make them funny. <laughs> 30 and 50, yeah, sorry, 30 Jesus. 50. Okay, I, so, I was gonna make them funny, but thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. Okay, all right, so 30 and 50, right? This is 30, okay. this is 50. Um, the cue ball is a little far away from that. Um, I like to do a spot on the wall so I don't have to find the exact numbers because that takes too long. Okay, so um, if you want to do spot on the wall, you should watch our other video that has spot on the wall. Yeah, so yeah. I go from that center of the cue ball through the second diamond. And then I look down my cue and I'm really precise. I pick a spot on the wall and here I have like, off in the distance, I have a leg of a chair. Okay. And so, wait, just... so you're like literally looking at an object that is not on the table. It's far away from the table. You want at least four, four to five feet away from the table. You don't want something that's like right on the rail because there's okay. once everything gets to a certain point, I think it's called vanishing point. It all converges into one spot. Okay. Um, once you have that spot, that's where it is. Unless the conditions change, you know, for the rest of the match, it should pretty much be that so spot. So that's the spot, not only for a cue ball that's here, but also a cue ball that's here? Mm-hmm. What? That's or magic. a cue ball that's here. Uh, it doesn't matter where the cue ball is. Okay. But the thing is, I like to be a little closer to the ball than this. So what are two other numbers that add up to 80, Raleigh? How about 20 and 60? No good. Uh, 50 and, and uh, Keep going. 40 and no. 40. 40 and 40, thank okay. you. Okay, because I'm just looking. This is 40, this is 40. Look how close the cue ball is to that. Okay. Right? So then I'm gonna go through as if there was a diamond here and as if there was a diamond there. Okay. And I'm gonna find a spot on the wall which looks like the edge of your jacket on the chair there. I'm gonna aim my cue ball with about two tips of running English. And that should go right to the corner. And I'll take it. I, I put a little bit more English than I meant to, so I ended up getting it rail first, but Part of the system, what's so great about it is that you can make these balls, you know, rail first or, you know, just making the hit sometimes is good enough. Yeah. Um, For me, if you're going it's to the just corner, getting the ballpark. Yeah. Going to the corner, it's a big ball. Do you want to try that one? Let's give it a shot. Okay. I'm just going to put the, the cue ball wherever and you just find, I'm not going to put it on that X again. Okay. And you just find two numbers that get to 80. That get to 80. Okay. So yeah. that's 10, 20, 30, and 50. No good. This is uh, 40. Yeah. And how about 40 and 10, 20, 30, 40? How about th these 40, guys? 40 is a little far away. Why don't you try? So there's like 50, 50 and, and 30. 30. That's pretty close. Okay. And now Spot I'm, on the wall. Just to clarify, yeah. I'm not going from the rail. I'm going no, from literally. You're going through the diamonds. Okay. So you can lay your cue over both diamonds, find a spot on the wall. Okay. And this is like about two tips of running English. You got to calibrate it to your own stroke. Everybody's is a little different. Yeah. And that mine is worse. 
Yours is definitely worse okay, and less consistent you. than mine. <laughs> okay, so I'm, but we're working on it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of point like right in between. Actually, I see a point right there. Okay, yeah. So aim your cue ball at that point. Okay. Two tips of running English. How does that look? Yes, so that looks good. And you took your English off as you shot it. Did you know that you do that? I watched you do it. I heard something go in. Oh, well, that doesn't count. That's not the ball. Wow, okay, okay, so we're actually so learning was, uh, uh, some weaknesses here. Yes. This is great. That was a, a steer. A steer. Which is common. Um, Did I hit like a ball and then something yeah, else? Yeah, you hit here and it, you hit hey, a combo. All right. So all right. can we do that one so, more time? Yes, we need to go. You can put it right on the line I'm and cheat it. if you want. It I'm makes it easier. Cheat. But you're still going to need that English. you got to put the English on it. Okay, so... So when you follow through, I want to see the cue ball spinning, you know. Make sure that lift. you go straight through wherever you set your English. There's straight. Okay. There's yes, the straight through there. Much better. See how that took? So maybe you need even more English because obviously my stroke is better than yours. Look, no one, no one's gonna doubt it, but it is, it is noticeable that you're saying it all the time. Why don't you use my cue instead uh, of that thing? Thank you. That thing I came from your wall, ma'am. <laughs> exactly. I don't know where it's been. Okay. There's straight. There's where I want. Oh, see, it was the cue. Clearly, it was the cue. The cue. Yeah, got to get yourself one of these. Wow. So that's 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 cool when it's just getting to the corner. Yeah. Wow. What else? So we okay. So let's try. Now I have these at specific points. So what's this? Do you remember? This is 10, 20, 30, 40. 40. Okay, but 40 is a little funny. So let's start at 70. This is 70. Okay. So say we put our ball down anywhere. Um, two numbers that add up to 70 that's, that are close. So here it's going to be, there's 40-30. Okay. okay. Um, or you could do it the other way. You can do 30 on this rail and 40 on this rail, which is there. That looks and right on. It's like almost on it. So yeah. I'll do the same thing. I do spot on the wall. Still on your coat. Running English. <laughs> and like I said, when you calibrate your stroke, Oh, you got I, it. I hit it. You I hit it. it. Yep. I, maybe I used a little too much English, but I still hit it. So was the, the ideal situation is a full hit or is like a make it? It should be coming into the diamond. So okay. if it's coming out of this rail, it should be coming something like this. Okay. And maybe if it um, even hit, hit the it diamond, full. it would like... Yeah. I mean, I've made it. this many, many times. And sometimes just hitting it is good enough. Right now, we're just trying to get to the point where you can hit every ball. Okay. Um, and depending on the stroke and how much English you use, you know, here, you want to try that one? Yeah, let's go to yeah, Sharon. You try. Can I yeah, use that? Yes, Thank absolutely. You. All right, so, um, and I'm going to do, I'm trying to get to 70. So 70. I'm just going to set it up nice and easy for myself. Okay, make so it easy. 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30, 40. So like this guy. Yeah. And that looks good. Imagine there's a, okay. And then two tips of running. Two English. tips of running. And high, high. I usually English? do like a center to high, not okay. not super high, because the high is going to lengthen it. It's like a rolling ball, you know. How'd you do? It? Hey. Hey. And that I was fouled. a foul. Yeah. And I double. Yeah. <laughs> so you know. But you hit the ball, you know, that's that's what you got to do. Great. Okay, so um, I'm going to let you do the rest of them because since you're doing so well. Oh, my God. Now that you have a, a professional cue. All right, you did that one already. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So uh, let's do this one. What's, okay. What numbers do we have there? So this is 40, 50, 60. Yes. So I want to do like a 30, 30, 10, Yes, 20, sir. 30. That's one option. There's so, a 30 there. Yep. If you hit the ball high, it lengthens on you. So you want to eliminate that lengthening. There you go. I mean, <gasps> word. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I told you. It's a great system. Good shot. Got it. Okay, and wow, then this is powerful. it's powerful. I know. So tell me about Don't if tell we're, anyone. Okay. Yeah, don't <laughs> tell anyone out there. Tell me about um, if we're like not really on the line, you know, so like we're okay. maybe we're here. Yeah. Because I've tried picking it up and putting it in a different spot, and people I'm playing against don't like that. 
Oh, you mean you can't just pick it up and put it on yeah, the line? They're, you they're extremely rude about it. Okay, well, I try to find the spot where the cue ball is the closest. So if I'm going to 80 and 50 30 is really close, 40 40 is close too. So if I have a choice, I like the cue ball to be inside of my cue instead of outside of my cue. So I don't know why. Inside meaning? Inside meaning inside the angle. So if I have a choice between 40-40, uh -huh. where it's on the outside of the angle, okay. or 50-30 on the inside of the angle, gotcha. I'm gonna choose this one. Okay. I feel like it's more accurate. Um, and then what I do is I lay my cue like this, find a spot on the wall, the and I just wall, shoot right at that spot on the wall with the same English that you've been using. So this ball could really be anywhere. Anywhere. And like it could even be, it could even be dead on the other one, but if you do the spot on the wall, it'll, it should still work. Yeah. Okay. All right, so okay. what about down at the bottom of the table? How does that, how does that change? Um, basically, uh, this is 80, you can continue over, this becomes 90. Okay. Um, it can work to here, but sometimes the side pocket gets in the way, so you have to make a few adjustments. But okay. let's say for now, I wanna, I wanna hit this ball that's at 90. If I wanna make it and I'm coming right into 90, uh, that should cut the ball in if I hit it just perfect. Okay. Uh, so let's see, I'm close to 50 and 40. This is 50, that's 40 up there. Really close, spot on the wall. Oh, oh close. So close. But, Very close. You know, that's what you wanna do, you wanna make the hit. That's, yeah. Sometimes that's what it comes down to. Okay, that is a, a heck of a heck of a hell of a system, Jennifer. Thank you for teaching me that. Yeah. Now this is really useful in, in real games. You would really use this I in a game? I use this all the time and it works in three cushion billiards as well. Great. Yeah. Great. Um, well, thank you so much for having me here. I uh, hope you guys learned something and uh, I, hope, I hope I learned something too. I hope so too. Great. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> Take care. Cool, thank you so much. Awesome. That's so fast. Good system, right? Yeah, that's a great system.